How's it going everybody? This is Kasuya, the Game Hunter channel. I'm gonna be playing some Loadout tonight. Uh, waiting for Titanfall. It's gonna get released in a few. Uh, but let's get into some action because um, a lot of people sent me a couple messages uh, regarding my previous video. The weapon crafting. So right now I'm just gonna I'm gonna show you real quick um, the tech tree. So you guys can see how to upgrade your weapons, and then we're gonna get into another game. Okay. So the tech tree is very simple; it's very straightforward, so anybody can understand this. So in the tech tree, you have all the main weapons. I mean, all the weapons: the rifle, launcher, pulse rifle, beam, and equipment. Okay. You can select any of those different weapons. Let's go to the launcher, for example. Okay. So in each of the weapons, you're gonna have all the special component of the weapon, right? First of all, the payload, right? I'm using this log in this case because it's the one that does more probably direct damage. Uh, and right now it's currently level two. Okay, I'm already upgraded uh, two times. I mean, well, probably two. Yes, I'm probably very close to get upgrade another time. And and if I do this upgrade, I'm gonna increase in 4.5 percent strength of my. Uh, Rocket, so which is pretty, pretty cool and awesome. Okay, second is the barrel. Uh, the barrel that I'm using, remember, I mentioned this before. I'm between the three barrel, the quad barrel, and the pente barrel, depending on which situation I am. I kind of believe that the quad barrel is probably the most balanced one, and uh, I should probably spend some point in upgrade this one. But this is the tricky part if I upgrade this one in the next upgrade. I don't receive any bonus in strength. I don't receive any bonus in rate of fire. The only bonus that I receive is a 0 0.9 point in reload time. So that's what I'm kind of concerned in doing that upgrade. It's not that expensive. It's only 4,080 Brutus and I have like a almost 40 Ks. Uh, but I did actually the upgrade for the Pentabarrel. And the Pentabarrel actually give me an upgrade in strength and uh, in reload time, reload speed. So. In that case, it was worth it. I don't know. I'm probably gonna do that one anyway. But uh, uh, let's continue with the stock. With the stock, I'm using the compact, which is already level two. And the scope, I just use the laser sight or the iron sight. I'm gonna probably continue with the iron sight only because the iron sight increase it give me a bonus in the hip accuracy. Um, most of the time, you're gonna be shooting your rocket <laughs> from the hip, right? So the next upgrade is gonna give me a 12% bonus in hip accuracy, so that's completely worth it. Um, I need the trigger, full automatic. Um, I can go between the two, full automatic and semi automatic, depending on my taste. I'm playing right now with semi automatic because uh, I, got, I can get an extra bonus on damage. So it's completely worth it. I like to have control of what I'm shooting, right? I don't want to have a, I want to have a rocket launcher. I want to have a machine gun that shoot a rocket. So that is completely unnecessary to keep that one. And if you do an upgrade in this, when you're gonna get a bonus in a strain and rate of fire, so pretty cool, right? Uh, for propulsion, I was mentioned before. I'm between the rocket and uh, core screw, and actually I'm gonna upgrade the core screw now. Because the core screw does a little bit more damage than the basic rocket, so I just need to get used to it. The whole core screw movement of the missile that sometimes can screw you up your mind a little bit, but uh, um, usually it works pretty well, right? And uh, for the impact, I got well, I mean, with the shell, I use impact as I mentioned yesterday. Uh, the bonuses are very interesting as at strain and blast radius. The detonator contact again. And spares and using the cluster, which is level two. So once that you finish with that, you go to the crafting, and you're gonna see that the launcher is level seven. Why is level seven? Because I gotta upgrade the compact stock, compact iron side. The quad bar is no upgrade, right? So that is basic. I gotta upgrade the semi. Uh, no, the semi automatic is not upgraded yet. I got this one upgrade, I got this one upgrade, this one and this one, right? So that's why it's level 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then it's level 7, okay? You start from level 1, and then every time that you do an upgrade, you get one level extra, right? So that's how you upgrade your weapons and, uh, using the tech tree, okay? That's very important to 
manage that part. So now let's get into some action. Um, I'm really loving my my current loadout that I have. Um, we're gonna be talking about the map control and everything, probably depending on the map that we choose and the game mode. We can talk a little bit about it, right? Um, let me see, Jackhammer, but well, Jackhammer is like a capture the flag, I'm sure you probably guys are already aware of that. And um, the cool thing about the Jackhammer is that, well, when you capture your the flag, in this case it's a hammer, you have a chance to actually kill your enemies with the hammer. You have a limited amount of uh, hits with your hammer, but um, it, it is pretty cool because it's not like the, ca the classic capture the flag when somebody grab the weapon, I mean grab the flag and then just uh, start running, right? Sometimes the guy who grabbed the hammer is going to start <laughs> looking, <him. laughs> looking for the opponent, right? So I guess that's what we're going to be playing. Let's go for Jack Hammer. So Fisher, I don't really like that map for this, but what are we going to do, right? I believe and I heard and I heard that the in an upgrade the load is gonna experience they're gonna increase the number of I think it's gonna be eight players per team, which I hope and that would be awesome. Alright, so let's go with it's raining rocket, that is my loadout with a shield shotgun, rocket launcher. Okay, we got one. So, well, let me go back to the base. I like to play on defense when I play Jackhammer because usually most of the people are going to try to grab the hammer and that's kind of like a pain in the ass. And I'm going to show you how effective is the, the rocket launcher that I'm using as a defensive weapon. The fact that I'm using the cluster on my launcher allow me to just shoot something in that area and then it's gonna start raining projectile uh, Your team has taken the hammer. cool, alright, let me stay in defense there see, it's very effective the, the area of uh, the blast radius is extremely uh, Your team has dropped the hammer. The opposing team's it's hammer very has been extended and that allows me to protect the whole area with just a couple of rockets, you see oh crap, I think that's somebody shooting rockets I think we have some customers coming Let's continue base. The enemy has stolen the hammer. Hmm. So the far, hammer has been returned. the fact that I'm shooting rockets into the hammer section allow me to protect all that area more effectively. Uh, well, I can see the whole team is in defense, so that's not good either <laughs> if we're trying to win the game. Uh, like I say, it's pretty cool that they're going to increase the number of players to 8, because that means that the, the games are going to be a little more massive, more action. I hope they increase also the size of some of the maps, because otherwise we're going to have trouble. Oh. Yep, we have a very strong defense at this point. I think we're probably gonna go in offense, especially if if I have this area under control, and especially if we have more people playing in defense too. There you go. The car screw propul uh, propulsion is actually very useful. Uh, I still can get used to the movement of the missile, but uh, oh boy, this is not good. The enemy has stolen the hammer. No, not anymore. You have returned the hammer. I got it. See? Good defense is always. Get out of here. Good defense is always the best offense. Um, in this case, I'm hoping that somebody else is going to try to capture, right? Otherwise, I'm going to get boring here. Well, 
in any case, I'm trying to show you some strategies with the uh, inject um, plane and uh, capture the hammer, right? This is actually a very good location if you want to defense this base because you have a good area of uh, Somebody put a mine of uh, some flavor in there, which made my defense job a little more simple, right? So I was saying that this area is very interesting. As a defensive point, you have a very, very good uh, point of view of the map. You know where they're coming from, so you can uh, notify your teammates. That guy should be dead. Yes, it is. And I allow you to to tell your troops where their enemy is coming from, right? Uh, so far, we have a very clean defense. The point, the only problem that I don't think we have anybody in capture. So let, I think I'm gonna try to give it a shot. It's gonna be difficult to capture. I mean, to get anything going if the whole team is in capture the defensive mode, right? The enemy has stolen the hammer. What is that? What is that? Where is the hammer? Where is the hammer? I don't know where the hammer. Ouchie. Oh, there you go. Oh my god, the guy is almost dead. Come on. Nobody can kill him? Anybody? Anybody? No, I'm not gonna make it. I'm gonna try to play more on offense now. Now that I see that my whole team decide to play in defense, which is weird because usually the usually you're gonna see people playing in, in just the enemy has offense. The hammer. The enemy has stolen the hammer. Let's get to get closer. Kinda, kinda a bad situation in there. <laughs> oh, the guy is gonna survive. He's gonna survive? He's dead. <laughs> he can be suicide. Okay, where is our hammer? I think they capture our hammer again. Ooh, that's not looking good. Right, so after an amazing, after an am awesome, after an amazing star, all the sun our with not knowing nothing. Oh, really? The Did the guy burn me? Has been Come on team, we gotta do something. The problem is that right now the team is in complete anarchy. They're all moving all over the place. Uh, that's why I like to play with my my buddies and gizzes in arms because I, I think we can play a little more organized. Let me see if I can get close to this guy. There is somebody's putting mines in there, which is kind of like a ultra freaking awesome. Ooh, we have a good sniper in here. I need to get closer. Oh, my shotgun is not gonna do any damage. Where is my head? Oh god, oh god, oh god. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Alright. Map control is also critical. You need to know exactly what order the health packs are. It's gonna be the best way to control the, the map if I was an enemy. The enemy has stolen the hammer. 
it's not very smart to fight against three <laughs> enemies, especially if, oh crap, my, my team is going kinda low in players. <laughs> The enemy has dropped the hammer. Your hammer has been returned. Don't do that, Mr. Sniper. That's not nice. <laughs> that was awesome. See the penta the penta barrel will allow me to. Has taken the hammer. The pentabarrel, not the quad barrel, I'm sorry. It gave me a very interesting and decent amount of uh, rockets. Let's go. No! I thought I got it. <laughs> no, 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 funny at all. Holy moly. Anyway. Low that is meant to be played just for fun. Has okay. the <laughs> it's not competition, so let's not get too crazy about the score or anything. Basically, I'm just trying to show you a little bit how to play this game effectively. Okay. Damn it! I got two, but the third one was too much. Well. Like I said, this team is not playing very organized, uh, and it's my fault too. I'm, t I'm right now recording the video, so I'm not really paying much attention to that. But uh, I think I know what they're trying to do. Let me see if I can get closer. Ooh. Your team has taken the hammer. Oh, machine gun. That machine gun is deadly, man. Oh. Nice. That machine gun was deadly. I mean, I did a lot of damage because the guy decided to get close to me. But, um, uh, let me see if I can assist the hammer carrier. If I can figure out where she's coming from. Really? I guess probably can notice the effectiveness of the combo shotgun. Oh shit, no, that wasn't very smart. Your team has taken the hammer. Power the cluster. Team really? Has been returned. Again? Well, oh, that's not good. Anyway, I'm gonna try to. Oh crap, oh crap. I'm under fire. I'm fire. Fire! 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 Remember, this game is not about killing or anything. Uh, I'll tell you why. Because when you get the experience at the end of the round, uh, everybody pretty much is going to get the same experience. The only difference is going to be the is the the experience basically is going to be based on who wins the match. Because not, not even performance, not even if I had a thousand kills. I'm gonna get a, a higher score. That's get out of here. Go 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 go. All right, let's see if we can do something like a teamwork. Remember that teamwork used to be very popular. It's a little bit overrated. Okay, that was actually pretty good. Sniper? The yeah, finally we did something. There you go. See? It's all about moving together because the, the maps are so small. Oh crap. Um, the map is so small that uh, you're gonna move together because 
Even if you're the good, even if you're extremely them. accurate, you still gonna have a lot of trouble trying to kill the, uh, the enemy if you're playing by yourself. Don't get too close to the hammer or you're gonna die. Damn it, I'm kinda far away. That's not gonna work out. Yeah, that guy is using that uh, special uh, boots. Crap. Uh, they allow you to double jump. Uh, they're very useful for a jackhammer game. But uh, but it's kind of risky. I mean, I don't like to do the double jump. Personally, I think that probably the shield is better. But it all depends. Oh, crap. Has been returned. <laughs> you damn camper. <laughs> ah crap, what was that? What was that? That deserved a lot. Okay. Well, considering that we're not gonna be able to see this or see win this game. At least we're gonna try to do some defense. Don't do an embarrassing game of this, right? Oh crap, where is that guy coming? Your team has dropped the hammer. The opposing team's hammer has been Get out of here. I'm very good at defense, but unfortunately this is not working very well for us. But the whole point is that well you guys get the idea and how important it is to play together as a team. We did a decent score, but again as a team we failed miserably. But I'm gonna show you the look at the XP. This is the important part. You check the XP, uh the one that I earned, I mean the bonus is twenty three, it's almost nothing. So just for finishing the game, which is five hundred Bluetooth, that's the most important one. So even if I win or lose, I still gonna get a bunch of XP. So I just encourage everybody to keep playing and keep trying to find your best loadouts and your best uh, combination of weapons and don't give up because you're still going to be able to rank up, get a lot of XP, um, basically a lot of Bluetooth also so you can modify your weapons the way you want. Okay, So this has been Kasuya the Game Hunter. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.